Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a Stream Deck multi-action so you can take really incredible thumbnails directly in Ecamm while you're shooting. This is gonna speed up your production workflow. It's gonna speed up your process. And Anna and Katie made a full tutorial on how to do that. But rather than pressing the hotkey in Ecamm, which is Command-Shift-G to take a photo, we're gonna use a Stream Deck multi-action so that you can take multiple photos but also so that you could have that pause you need to get yourself ready or to like move the mic out of the way. Or in this case, like I would take off my headphones. So let me show you how to do this. We're going to jump right in. First thing I want to show you is that I use sound effects as a way to let me know when the photo has been taken. Now, a lot of people have done the tutorial that just says how to do the multi-action, but I've taken it one step further. And so now I'm going to show you how to do that. And the sound effect that you're going to hear is a camera shutter which I got here from Pixabay. I also used a five second countdown, which you would just search up in the top. You would just change this to countdown. And then in the end, I just used the built-in Ecamm applause. But if you wanna add something else, you could do that as well. Um, I just think it's really helpful to know when each individual shot is taken. So I just looked in here, I found a couple camera shutter sounds that I liked. I ended up picking one and I just downloaded that from here. So we're gonna use that in this tutorial. So if you wanna go find some cool sounds, and these are free, this is Pixa Bay. You, if you have Epidemic Sound, you already have access. If you have Envato Elements or Artlist or one of the other sound places, you have these sound effects. Get it where you get it, completely up to you. You could also just take a picture with a real camera and record it so that you have the sound. Like that, that part is simple. But anyway, let's jump over here to the Stream Deck. And I'm going to show you, this is the multi-action that I built and I'm gonna build it for you from scratch all over again. And this time with the thanks of some of the homies in my community, we've added a little bit of extra sauce to it. So let's go in. The first thing you wanna do is go over here to the side and you wanna search for open, which is in system, but you could also just type in open. I find typing is a little bit better because it's quicker. We're gonna step back one second. We're gonna put in a multi action. So let's do multi. And then you wanna grab a multi-action, not multi-action switch, and we're gonna drop it on this button. We're gonna call this photo session. Okay, and then we're gonna add some actions. So first thing we wanna add is the open action. And the reason why I like to do this, because if you press this and say Ecamm isn't the active app, Ecamm is not in front, it will do this action to whatever you're doing. So like that command shift G command might be a different command in your favorite app and it's gonna cause all kind of craziness. So you don't wanna do that, okay? So then the next thing I wanna do is I wanna start to play that particular sound that's gonna give me the idea that this process has started. So what we wanna do is over here, we wanna type in play sound and I'm gonna grab the one from Ecamm because we're gonna use Ecamm in this case. And then for my sound, I'm gonna select the five second countdown. Okay. Okay, I'm only gonna do this once, but I just need to be able to hear that. Okay, then I'm gonna come back over to this guy and I want to hit a system hot key. Um, but before I run the hot key, I wanna run a delay. So let's go ahead and run a delay. Uh, let's do delay and we're going to drag this in here. And the reason for the delay is to give you time to get yourself situated. Every 1000 is a second. So I'm going to do five, two, five, zero, because I know that my sound is five seconds. I'm going to give myself a quarter of a second buffer just to be careful. Okay. And then the next thing we want to do is hit the high key. So that's going to be under system and high key. And then we're gonna assign the keystroke of Command Shift G, cause that's what it is in Ecamm. And this is take a photo, all right? Then the next thing that we're gonna add is that click sound. So what you can do is copy this guy, paste it, it's gonna to go to the bottom, and then we're gonna change this to click sound. So we want the camera shutter, okay? So one thing that we could do real quick here is just give this a test. So we're gonna pop over to Ecamm here 
And then I'm gonna go into live demo mode so you can see when the photo is taken. So let me do that real quick. And then notice down here on the bottom, it says photo saved. So let me click this, I, this button. Five, four, three, two, one. There you go. That would be it. If you only wanted to do one, that would be it. But trust me, because <laughs> you want to do multiples. So let's go back into Stream Deck and show you how to keep this going. This process is easy, but it's also a wee bit time consuming. Stream Deck does not allow for you to say, select all of these guys. And I can't even select them. I want to select them all in a row and just keep doing. I don't need to count down anymore. That was a one time trigger, but I do need to delay and then the high key. So you have a couple ways you can do this. You can copy this, come down here and then paste it in one and then copy the next one and then paste it in. Make sure you have nothing selected when you paste it in copy. And that's going to put them in order. I'm a little bit more crazy than this. <laughs> so what I do is so uh, I will we'll just set it up for five photos in this case. So we're going to take the multi action one again. We're going to copy it. And then we've already done two. So we're going to go paste, paste, paste. That's three. And then we can go to the next action. We're going to select photo, copy that. And we're going to go paste, 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 and then put them in between the delays. So like I said, it can get confusing, but if you're just paying attention, delay, photo, delay, photo, delay, photo. And then I want to add my sound. So I'm going to copy this and then paste, paste, paste. So delay photo sound and then delay photo sound. Oh, missed. There you go. So it's multi-action, take a photo, play the sound, delay, photo sound, and then the last one is sound. So let's go and take a look and see how this looks inside of Ecamm. So we're going to pop back over to this scene, go into live demo mode so that you can see. This time, I'll move the microphone. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so that was it, except for you don't know where the ending is. So let me show you the last step the real quick. And what I would do in this particular case, I forgot to do this, so I'll show you. For each of these delays, once we're started, I wanna change these to 3000, because I think three seconds is enough. So we're gonna actually call this three second, so that way you know. All right, and then I'm gonna do the same thing for here. So that way your brain can keep track of what's going on. You don't have to like stand there and hold that, <laughs> hold that pose for so long. And if you find out you're really good at posing, you can change this to two seconds if you want. I think three is a good magic number. If you're doing it as video, they tell you to hold it for five. And that's because the way video compresses, you're going to want to get a clean frame. So that is what this is for. Okay. And then that's the last photo. And then... Why is these on countdown? Oh, we should change this to shutter. So that way we uh, we know we're playing the right sound. So it is important that while you do this, that you label your stuff so that way you don't confuse yourself like I just did. Save yourself the hassle. All right, we only need the one. Countdown is at the top. Then there's shutter, one, two, three, four, and the last one being five. Now, after we get to the last one, we're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna copy the sound, we're gonna go to play, and we're gonna change this one to finish. 
And so for finish, we're gonna use applesauce. There you go. That way you know that you've nailed it. So again, we're gonna open by bringing the Ecamm to the front. And so this is important. Make sure you select the Ecamm. All right, so it's gonna make sure the Ecamm comes to the front. It's going to start the countdown timer and that's gonna delay for five seconds. I did five and a little bit of change, but then that's gonna take a photo. Then that's gonna play the sound. And it's gonna wait three seconds, take a photo, play the sound, wait three seconds, take a photo, play the sound, wait three seconds, take a photo, play the sound, wait three seconds, take a photo, play the sound, and then play the sound that it is done. You could even do something crazy, like bring up an overlay to let you know that it's finished, but that's completely up to you. And this is how you make the Stream Deck multi-act button and then you just change this photo to whatever photo you want to change it to. And so let's go and do something like that real quick. Let me grab a uh, PNG here. And then I'm going to just drag this. Just drag it onto the stream deck. Dude, there's my, there's my photo button right there. So last time, let's jump into Ecamm and give ourselves a test of our new button. So let me go into live demo mode real quick, just so you can see and press the magic button. Five, four, three, two, one. Bingo, bango, pickle, mango. There you have it, there you have it. Now you know how to take photos using the Stream Deck multi-action button in Ecamm. If you have any questions, comments, or feedback, write that down in the comment section below and we'll be happy to get to you. Or of course, you can reach out to us at supportdesk at ecamm.com.